got a produce case. Serious ice build up over here too. It's a lot of ice. So you can see it's circuit 2D. Also 2D. Right, so this is the motor room up above the store. It uh you gotta find the right rack. So this one's all the way in the back. I guess it's rack two. So the case we were working with down there was uh, 2D. It's listed right there. You look on the controller here. If you look closely, I've turned off 2D already. So then if you look at 2D, it's at 32.4, and then the other one's 30 and a half. Then when I click on it, on 2D1, you see up here the set point at the left is 38, but it's running at 32. It was actually colder a few minutes before I turned it off. It was running at like 29 and a half. And then the same thing for 2D2, which is really going to be the same circuit. It's um, set for 38, but for some reason it's, it's getting all the way down to 30. And if you look at circuit 2C, which is this one, it has the same thermostat set point, but it's doing a little bit better. You see down here it has a range plus or minus two degrees so 35.3 that's really close so this is the back side of the rack uh, these are the EPR valves for each one uh, if you look closely this one says 2d and then up on the inlet side of that EPR valve for 2d there is the pressure port and these are sort valves and then down underneath those, that row of EPR valves are the, is the suction header. And all these ones, the one on the right, over there in the corner, this one in the middle, or the left. All three of those, they're going to have the same pressure. And that pressure is 35 PSI. On the top of 2D, we've got a pressure of 48. These can be adjusted by rotating the adjustment screw on them. If you turn it clockwise, it's going to raise the pressure on the inlet. If you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to decrease the pressure on the inlet. So doing that is directly going to affect the, the case temperature. So I turned some clockwise, uh, and then so it's, it's about to go up. And then as you adjust it more, it goes up some more. So what I ended up doing is I, I, you got to rotate it clockwise for the pressure on the inlet side to go up. So when you go, you only got to do it a little bit too. If you go, if you go a lot, like you'll see, you'll see the needle move as you turn it. See, as I turn it clockwise right there, it just goes up. So I set it at about 55 and then I went back around to the front of the rack. So at the front of the rack, I got, it's 9.50 AM and up here, we're sitting at 2D1, 2D2, and 31, and 30. All right, so at 9.50, it was 35, no, 31.6 and 30. An hour later, almost 10.47 a.m., it has risen to 37.7 and 35. So that's exactly what I was looking for. The suction pressure looks to have stabilized around 54, 55 degrees. Here's a little bit better look at the EPR valve. So, to finish up, I took some hot water, went down there, added heat to the case with this hot water, but also kind of getting their, their stuff cleaned up. That's not my job, but it helps me because by adding heat, I can make sure that the um, unit's going to get hot. And it, so if I set it too high, I can always adjust it, you know, back down or whatever, but... By adding heat to the case, that's kind of how like I'm testing what I did. Then back up there again at 11.11, I added heat to the case. And so we're sitting at 36.735. And exactly what I wanted right there. So this call's done. Real simple job. Just got to know what to look for. Don't let it intimidate you. Just a simple little adjust in the EPR valve on this particular case like about a half a turn is all I did. So hope you guys got something out of it. Enjoy. Try to make another video on my next call.
if it's worth it.